A horse is a horse, of course, of course, and no one can talk to a horse, of course, that is, of course, unless the horse is the famous Mr. Red. And if you want to know how the rest of that song goes, I suggest you look it up rather than listen to my terrible singing. This famous little ditty is the theme song from a popular horse-based TV sitcom that aired from 1961 to 1966. The Mr. Ed story was based on a short story called The Talking Horse, written by Walter Brooks and published in the Liberty magazine in 1937. A film studio later picked up the story and the rest, as they say, is history. In each episode, Mr. Ed and his human would get involved in some sort of entertaining misadventure together, causing the human some strife, whilst simultaneously amusing viewers all over America. While Mr. Ed was a fictional character, his silver screen embodiment was not. The character was played by a horse called Bamboo Harvester. This attractive little Palomino was an Arabian saddlebred cross that was born in 1949 to purebred parents with long pedigrees. The Californian native was trained by the then up-and-coming trainer Les Hilton, and he was the primary horse used in the black and white film production for the duration of its 143 episodes. However, he was not the only one. Bamboo Harvester had a stunt double called Pumpkin which I think is just the cutest name. The pumpkin was a quarter horse. He was an almost identical doppelganger and the pair were often stable mates. Unfortunately, there isn't a whole lot of information available about bamboo harvester or pumpkin. They were both said to be easy to work with and calm tempered and pumpkin did quite a lot of other film and advertising work. The pair got to work with Clint Eastwood in one episode where the handsome 30 something movie star plays a mixture of matchmaker and movie director. However, the horses were most often seen with their human co-stars, Alan Young and Connie Hines. Bamboo Harvester was a smart horse, and it didn't take long for him to stop moving his lips to speak during filming without needing to be given a cue. They said he often learned what he needed to do in a scene faster than the humans did. Bamboo Harvester was retired when the show was cancelled and got to live out the last of his days with his trainer on Hilton's farm. Unfortunately, he passed away from age-related health issues at just 19 years of age. Pumpkin went on to live quite a bit longer and even took up the mantle of Mr. Ed for his former co-worker when his health got bad. This cute pair brought Mr. Ed to life in a way that helped people to relate to horses more easily. They arrived on our screens at a time when horse culture was starting to change and people were looking for kinder ways to do things. Even though basic horse training wouldn't change during their lifetime, the affinity that they lent to their horsey character would have definitely played a role in furthering compassion for our equine friends amongst people in general. In my books, that makes them every bit as legendary as any other historical horse.